Hi, my name is Amelia Brown, formerly Amelia Carlson, and I've been associated with the Springfield Little Theater since probably 1993. I think I started with summer stages over at uh, what was then the Vandevoort Theater, and I've been involved pretty consistently ever since. Even when I was far away, I would still manage to meet up with troopers in Italy if they were visiting, and um, this place has always been near and dear to my heart. So most recently I've been a, a member of the associate board of the Springfield Little Theater, so I try to raise money for capital improvements and for things in the in the building and at the Landers Theater. And I'm also involved as a sometimes producer and writer of children's theater. And that is the biggest gift this place has ever given me. This place is phenomenal. I think the kids who are growing up here are, are so enriched by the experiences they have and by the practical skills that they learn um, on stage and backstage. So I think the theater is a wonderful place and I have traveled around quite a bit. I've seen theaters all over the place. I've worked for some pretty big organizations like the Kennedy Center in Washington, D.C. and the Spoleto Festival in Italy. I've lived in France and England, and I always manage to sniff out theaters wherever I go, from the, the amphitheater at Pidavros in Greece to the beautiful theaters in Fiesole in Italy. And I can tell you that this place is unique. I think the only place that I've seen a theater this beautiful, this type of jewel box, gorgeous theater is probably in London. And in some ways that was kind of a challenge when I left here. I kept searching for a place that would be as beautiful as the Landers Theater. And not just the architecture, not just how beautiful the Landers Theater is. It's, it's absolutely phenomenal and it's unique. But the idea that you could have both the theater as this gorgeous architecture, but that you'd also have a theater company who lives and breathes and works here. That I think is unique. And that is why after traveling the world around, I've, I've come back and I've found my way back here to this, to this theater home. It takes a lot to make the Springfield Little Theater run, and it takes a lot to keep the Landers Theater looking as beautiful as it is. Most theaters really, really rely on donations for up to 70% of what they do. The Springfield Theater has really done well in selling tickets and creating fabulous shows, but that doesn't mean that we don't need your support. To keep this theater company running, to keep students on stage, and to keep this theater looking as beautiful as it is, takes a lot of support and we count on yours. It doesn't matter what you give as long as you give. If you're a member of this community, I know that you love the Springfield Little Theater and the Landers Theater as much as I do. So take a moment on Give Ozarks Day to give to the Springfield Little Theater and the Landers Theater.